What's going on guys, it's me the computer nerd from the Wombo Squad and today I'm bringing you guys another awesome Minecraft mod review. This mod is for 1.8 and it is called the Base Metals mod. Now what this mod does is it adds in a bunch of different ores to choose from and make tools and armor out of. So let's get right into this mod. So, I'm going to name off all the ores and their ingots and blocks. Some of them do not have ingots and some of them don't have uh, blocks. Okay. First, we have the silver, copper, tin, zinc, mercury, lead, nickel, cold iron, mithril, adamantine, and star steel. Um, as you can see, mithril does not have an ingot, so I don't know where you get it from, and mercury does not have a block, and it doesn't have an ingot either as liquid mercury, which is a type of dye-looking mercury thing, I guess. Um, so, um, honestly, in my opinion, the star steel looks the coolest. Because it, look at this, it just looks like the end in your hands. It's just so cool. But uh, adamantine is a close second because it's just black and it looks really cool. Um, up here I just have some showcases of all the ingots and a random sword at the end because there was not enough ingots to fit the amount of item frames. So let's get right into the armor. Um, so we have the silver helmets. Uh, these look okay. Uh. Let me get out of let me get out of creative real quick. Game mode S. Uh, the silver looks just like iron ore, so you really couldn't tell if you were in a multiplayer world. But it still looks okay. Um, oh, whoopsies. So after the iron ore, we have copper ore and iron and armor. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, I think the copper ore looks pretty cool. It looks like a pinkish brown, so it's not really as brown as like dirt as you can see but it's sort of pinkish like a peach color and I I like it quite a bit um next we have the tin uh, armor uh, I really can't tell a difference between nickel and tin and all the ones that are this color because they're really just the same but as you can see tin does not really give you that much protection it only gives you one and a half bars of protection so let's take all this off and let's get our lead helmet on. Oh, lead armor, not lead helmet. Okay, uh, the lead looks awesome, I think, in my opinion. Um, it doesn't give you any protection, obviously, as you can see, but it does give you slowness, so, uh, there's really no point in wearing this armor because you're getting slowness and no protection. It just looks cool. So that's why I like this armor but you still get slowness and no protection offered with it. Next we have the nickel. So let's put this nickel stuff on. Uh, it still looks the same as iron armor, so there's really no difference. And you get three and a half bars of protection. Oh my god, I keep forgetting to take all this stuff off. Oh, 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 okay, there we go. Boom, 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 boom. Next we have the cold iron helmet. Now this one's a little different from iron armor, uh, it has like a lighter feel to it and a lighter texture and as you can see it gives you six bars of protection which is really good um I don't know where you can find the cold iron ore but it must be pretty hard to find because you get six bars of protection uh and you also get fire resistance with this armor as you can tell there next let's go into the mithril armor this is yet another armor that looks like iron and you really can't tell the difference between all of the nickel and uh, nickel and silver. Oh, I put that in the wrong way. You can't tell a difference with this between the nickel and silver and tin. Uh, but it still gives you seven and a half bars of protection, guys. That's pretty good. I don't know how rare mithril is either. Okay, next we have the adamantine. Uh, this one looks like it could be obsidian armor to be completely honest. Um, I have another mod that I'm going to showcase that's obsidian armor, but this one looks really cool, and as you can see, full protection bars, guys. So, I don't know, I bet this is really rare, I bet it's rarer than diamond, but it gives you full protection bars, and it looks awesome, but you also get resistance too with it, so that's another bonus to this mod. To this armor mod. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm tired. Next, we have the star seal. Okay, now, Ready to see this, guys? Look at this! Oh my god! It looks so awesome, guys. I'm I'm wearing the end right now. I could just walk into the end, 
and the Ender Dragon wouldn't be able to see me. I just blend in. <laughs> Doesn't this thing look so cool, guys? And it actually gives you less protection than the, um, what's it called? Than the adamantine armor. So this must be less rare, but it still gives you, uh, eight and a half bars of protection. So that's, it's still pretty good. And you also get speed three and jump boost four. So that compensates for all the, for the less protection. So as you can see, I can jump easily three blocks high and probably four blocks high. Let's test it out. Yep, four blocks high. So this one offers pretty good protection and it compensates for the less protection than the others by letting you jump higher and go faster. Now let's get into the tools. Um, silver everything, copper, tin, lead, nickel, and cold iron. All, not all the ores have, um, not all the ores have, uh, tools for them, but as you can see, the silver basically looks just like iron. Another thing that's added with this mod, though, is, uh, this crack hammer. Uh, I don't really don't know what it does, but I read on the mod forum that it says it's, like, pul pulverizes, pulverizes ores, and you get more metal out of each ore with it, so I think it's pretty, seems pretty helpful. Okay, now let's look at the copper items. Um, the copper sword looks really cool in my opinion, and so does the pickaxe, um, but they all look really cool. The copper crack hammer looks kind of weird, but the copper armor looks, the copper weapons look really cool. Um, I don't really don't need to show the tin because it looks exactly like nickel and uh, silver, but let's get right into the lead. So the lead looks like it could be obsidian once again. Uh, the pickaxe looks cool, and the axe looks cool in my opinion. But the lead crack hammer looks pretty cool. It's the coolest crack hammer I've seen out of all these ores. So nickel once again just looks like silver and cold iron. So cold iron is looks just like iron except it's just, you know, a lighter feel like I said with the armor. So I think this looks pretty cool. It could go well with um, a mod pack. Like this, this resource pack, not this resource pack, this mod, <laughs> could go well with a um, mod pack, and the cold iron sword would be cool with something, I don't know. Uh, Mithril looks just like nickel and, uh, what is it? Nickel and silver, and adamantine looks like obsidian, more, more obsidian me than lead, and these, these look really cool. And last but not least, we have these star steel weapons and armor. So, look at this. I'm wielding the end. Isn't it so cool? Oh my gosh, the star steel is so awesome. 6.6 .6 attack damage. Whoa. 6.8. These are strong. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, star steel looks the coolest, and uh, 6.8 are not the strongest, but they're still pretty strong, and they look awesome. So, that's the mod in a nutshell, guys. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, remember to rate, comment, subscribe. And if you guys were wondering, this mod adds in a total of... This mod adds in a total of 11 new ores and armor and weapon types. So, these are all the ingots and random adamantine sword here. But, once again, if you guys did enjoy, remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye.